Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode right here on 2020 Flight Simmers. Today's episode we're going to be going over those four little lights right next to the runway when you're inbound on your approach. So if you want to know how to use those pappy lights to get perfect VFR approach, then stay tuned right here on 2020 Flight Simmers. Alright everyone, so welcome back to the cockpit of the beautiful Ultralight 103. And if you haven't seen this one yet, you can go ahead right over to the marketplace and pick it up there for a measly $9.99. So let's get right into the Pappy Lights and just what are they and how can they be used for your VFR flights. First, let's go ahead and take a look at the couple different configurations that the lights can be in. You're either going to have all red, three red and one white, two red, two white, three white, one red, or all white. Now each of these light configurations correspond to a different location that your plane is in regards to the glide slope that the Pappy Lights put out. Let's bring up another image here of the glide slope for the Pappy Lights. And as you can see right here, I always like to come in underneath of the glide slope. So the Pappy Glide Slope is somewhat of an ILS that projects a beam out there for you visually so that you can see just where you are in relation to the runway. Now if we were coming in underneath the Glide Slope like we are right here in this image, all of your lights on that Glide Slope or all of your Pappy Lights would be red, telling you that you are underneath of the Glide Slope. Now, don't let that confuse you with being too low to the ground. That just means you are either behind the glide slope or in front of the glide slope. Now, to pick up that glide slope is just the same as you would with an ILS, and all you need to do is continue flying forward at level flight, and your lights will then start to change on you. Once you get to two white and two red, that means you are perfectly aligned dead center of the Pappy glide slope. So now you can start your descent down to the runway. If for some reason you notice that, hey, I've got an extra white light coming on here, well, that means you're just a little in front of the glide slope now. So you can do a couple things to help out with that. You can either increase your descent a little bit or back off on the throttle if you're able to do so. So now that we have talked about the glide slope beam and the light configurations, now let's go ahead and show you how they work in the simulator. What I'm going to do is get this thing started, taxi to the runway, take off, and we will pick back up mid-air once we're on our approach to the runway. Alright everyone, so we are in the air, inbound, on our approach, and I've kind of paused us here mid-air so I can show you these Pappy lights here. So we zoom in here on the runway on these Pappy lights, you can see that we have all four red Pappy lights, so that tells us we are behind the glide slope, just below the glide slope. So behind and below the glide slope. Now again, like I told you, all you need to do is continue moving forward, don't descend any, just keep going forward until you capture that glide slope. Just like you would on an ILS approach. Now if you take a look at those lights now, you can see that we now have, zoom in, you can see that we now have one white and three red. We are on our way to capturing that glide slope, and there we go. We just got two white and two red, so that means we are dead in the center of that glide slope now. So now all we have to do is maintain the descent here, and just keep watching those lights. There you go.
All right, everyone. So I think that's going to conclude the episode for today. I want to thank everybody for joining us today. Again, if you have any questions, please post those down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the video. And as always, keep the blue side up. We'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.